Eager to start your online hustle? Why not try dropshipping? Many of you have probably already heard the term, but what does dropshipping really mean? Well, it's a retail fulfillment method where a store doesn't keep a stock of the product it sells. Instead, it purchases items from a third party and has them shipped directly to customers. So today, we'll cover how to create a dropshipping website. We'll guide you through the building process, go over some tips on how to find products, and help you launch your business. So let's get started. The first step is setting up a website for your dropshipping store. You'll need a solid hosting plan to accommodate its e-commerce features and handle the traffic. Luckily, Hostinger's WooCommerce hosting has got you covered. It comes with everything you need to get started and grow further. You can click the link in the description and pick your plan right now. For the best dropshipping store experience, go for the cloud startup option. Hit choose plan once you've made your selection. And when the checkout page opens, choose the subscription duration. Remember, the longer the term, the lower your monthly fee. And additionally, selecting a plan for one year or longer will get you a free domain name. Once you've chosen a desired duration, fill in your payment details. And don't forget to add the discount code WOO10 for 10% off any purchase of one year or longer plans. As soon as the payment has gone through, you'll be taken to HPanel. If you're not, hit Login at the top right. Then enter the login credentials you used when making the purchase. Choose the Websites tab, hit Add Website, and pick WordPress. We'll begin by setting up admin login credentials. Choose the language and note down the admin email address and create a password. Click Next to continue. Since we'll be building an e-commerce dropshipping site, pick Online Store as your website type and click Next. Preview the pre-built website templates and pick one that best suits your vision. Alternatively, you can choose a theme from the available options or opt to build a blank site. However, I really don't recommend doing that as it will make your life a lot harder. The next page will let you choose the plugins to install on your website. I recommend sticking with the default options. Now, the onboarding wizard will ask you to pick a domain name. This is where you'll be able to claim your free domain. Enter a name and select it from the drop-down menu. Then fill in the details. If you're struggling with name ideas, we have an article with tips on the subject linked in the description. And wait a couple of moments while WordPress is installed. When the process is finished, you'll be redirected to the website's dashboard on HPanel. Here, click Admin Panel to proceed. And there you have it, your very own website. Now, before we turn it into a dropshipping powerhouse, let's finish setting it up. Click Get Started, fill in your store details, confirm its domain name, choose the product type and location, and also note down your business email address. And click Continue. Since we'll be picking products later, skip the first step and instead let's add some payment methods to your store. Click Set Up Payment Method, and if you're not sure which to choose, go for Woo Payments. It accepts debit and credit cards, as well as local payment methods in over 135 currencies. Just hit Add Plugin. Now pick Payments from the left sidebar and hit Connect to your store. Enter your email address and click the link sent to your inbox to verify the connection. Once that's done, state your business location, type of legal entity, and what products or services your business sells. Finally, fill in your estimated annual e-commerce revenue and the timeline for launching your store. Complete the setup to link Woo Payments with your bank account or debit card. Now, go back to onboarding, pick it from the left sidebar under Hostinger. Now we'll be adding a shipping method. Click Shipping Methods within the Ship Products with Ease section and now hit Add Shipping Method. When the WooCommerce Shipping Options menu opens, click Add Zone. This way you can set up areas you'll be shipping to and the conditions for doing so. Name the zone, enter the regions it applies to, and add its shipping methods. You can choose from three options here. Free shipping, flat rate, and local pickup. Click Save Changes when you're done. 
And if you're planning to drop ship products of different weights and dimensions, it helps to add several shipping classes too. Pick Add Shipping Class and fill in the details. To specify the shipping costs for the class, go back and edit one of your shipping zones. Edit a payment method and enter the costs for each class at the bottom. When you're all done, just click Save. Now you'll be able to choose the shipping class when adding a new product. And with this out of the way, we can finish setting up the rest of the website. But just before we do, hover over to Settings on the left sidebar and pick Reading. Check the search engine visibility option, and once you've saved the changes, the website won't appear on search engines. Now, if you picked one of the pre-built website templates, you already have most of the pages that are essential for a dropshipping website. Otherwise, you'll need to add them manually. Either way, we'll need the pages to be filled with content that's actually relevant to your business. If that sounds like a lot of work, don't worry, Hostinger's AI content creator will help you do all of that in no time. For example, let's add an FAQ page, using the AI content creator to become familiar with how it works. From the left sidebar, hover over Hostinger and pick AI content creator. Choose page as the content type, and next, select the tone and length for the content. In the field below, fill in a description. This will let the AI content creator know what to write about. If you want particular keywords to be included, specify them in the respective field. Once the content generation has finished, check out the output below. Click Edit as Draft to proceed. If you want to change any text, just click on a section and make the edits. You can also add new content blocks, just click the plus icon and choose from the list. If you wish to generate additional content for the page, add an AI content creator block and prompt it just like before. Once you're done making changes, let's ensure your page has the correct URL. You'll find this option on the right. If you can't see the panel, click the intersecting rectangles at the top right. Now click on the link to edit it and go for something that's short, clean, and easy to understand. When done proofreading, hit publish at the top of the page and it will go live. If you miss something, don't worry, you can always edit pages and posts after publishing them. Here's the list of essential pages your dropshipping website should contain. You may already have some or all of them. But to check which pages you have, just click Pages from the admin dashboard and then go through the list. Make sure to personalize each page. You can do this manually or with the AI content creator. And don't forget to customize the homepage too. It'll be in the page list designated as the front page. It will take some time, but your store will be ready to welcome customers when you're finished. All that's missing are the products, so let's find some to sell. But before choosing the actual products, it's essential to pick a niche. That's because the dropshipping industry is highly competitive, and focusing on a specific target audience will make it easier to stand out. The more you understand your niche, the easier it will be to figure out how to attract your audience. Put into consideration your own interests and expertise as well. It might also help to become familiar with what's trending at the moment. For this, Google will be your best friend. Start by performing simple searches for keywords related to your niche and checking the results. Then open up Google Trends to see the actual search volumes. Finally, check the bestseller lists on Amazon. Filter the results based on your niche to see what people are buying. Once you know what you want to sell, you'll need to source it. AliExpress is one of the best marketplaces for dropshippers, so let's make it possible to import the products straight to your website. We'll be using Isuzu to do that. You can also check out Oberlo and Woo Dropship if you want an alternative. But for this example, I'll be using Isuzu. So let's go to isuzu.com, the link is in the description, and once you're here, select Create an Account, and register now, under the free plan. You can upgrade it later once your store takes off. Fill in the details, clear the CAPTCHA, and hit Select and Confirm. Finally, choose Use Isuzu now.
When the next window opens, choose Settings from the top menu and pick General. Now enter your full website address into the field and click Connect Store. You'll need to approve the connection request before hitting Save Changes. All that's left to do before you can begin importing products is to install the Suzu browser extension. Bear in mind that it is only available for Google Chrome. The extension link is also in the description. Now go to AliExpress and search for the product you wish to sell. I'll be picking this insulated mug. Open the product page and click the Isuzu icon at the top right corner of the page to begin importing the product. Now let's go back to the admin panel of your website. From the left sidebar, pick Products. Remove all of the items that came pre-installed with your site by checking them and selecting Move to Trash from the bulk actions. Now click Edit under the product you've just imported. This is your product page. Change the title to something short and catchy and scroll down to the product description. Make sure that the description is sufficiently different from the original listing on AliExpress. You can do that by hand or with the AI content creator. If you choose the AI option, just fill in the fields and your description will be generated for you. Now scroll down to the product data section and expand it. If you imported several variations of the item, it'll be listed as a variable product. Otherwise, it'll be a simple product. Check track stock quantity for this product within the inventory tab and write down the available quantity. You can also enter the threshold for WooCommerce to notify you when stocks are running low. In the shipping tab, note down the item weight and dimensions if available and if applicable, assign a shipping class we set up earlier. The link product section lets you reference other items if you wish to upsell or cross sell. Variable products will also have the attributes section. Here, specify attribute names and assign their values, separating each with a vertical bar. Remember to hit save attributes when you're done with this section. Finally, you'll find the product images on the right side of the page. You can easily change the main product picture by clicking on them. Once you're done, hit update to push the changes and click preview changes to see how everything looks on the store. Repeat this process for the other products you've imported. And if you want to add one manually, hit add new under products on the left sidebar. All right, time to inspect your website before taking it live. Hover over your website's name on the top left corner of the screen and hit visit site. Go through all of the pages and check all of the links, images, and features to see if they're working correctly. When done, go back to the main dashboard, hover over Hostinger, scroll through the checklist to make sure all of these steps have been taken care of. If anything's incomplete or missing, read through the steps and hit Take Me There to sort it out. Oh, and remember the site visibility option we checked earlier? Go back to the reading settings and uncheck the setting. Now your website is live and discoverable online. All that's left to do is to market your new online store and attract visitors. A great and free way to do that involves writing regular blog posts that contain keywords related to your niche. This will make your website that much more attractive to search engines. You can task the AI content creator to write the articles and then make some edits for the most search engine friendly results. Make sure your product descriptions contain a few relevant keywords. You can also launch email marketing campaigns. We've included a guide on how to do that in the description. If you've got a budget, consider purchasing ads on Google and Facebook. Doing so is not cheap, but the included targeting settings will make it that much easier to reach your audience. And that is all. We've gone over the launch of your dropshipping website from building and setting it up to importing products and taking your site live. Feel free to share any comments or suggestions below, and we'd also love to hear about your dropshipping experiences. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos just like this one in the future. Thank you for watching and good luck on your dropshipping journey.